Hello, today we're using the Keynote application for iPad. This app allows us to work with text and graphics and arrange them to create slides, or in this case, we're going to make a poster about safety with art supplies. Keynote looks like this. It looks like a teacher's desk with notes on it and a microphone. Let's begin. In Keynote, the first thing I see are all the presentations I've been working on. We're going to press the plus icon in the top left hand corner to start a new presentation today. It gives me choices for what my background is going to look like. You can pick any one that you like. I'm going to do one with a black background to start with. And the first slide has some simple text and it has a photograph in it. This is great because what I'm going to do today is put in a picture of some art supply that I'm using and then talk about what I'm doing to show that it's being used safely. So I tap right here in the bottom right hand corner of that picture where we see a photograph to replace this picture. I could also go to the plus sign right here, media and camera roll to get to a picture. So either way you want to access it, either from the plus sign or if you already have a sample photograph like this one that came stock on the slide, just tap that and it takes you to your photos. So I have a picture right here that I want to use that displays how to use a pencil safely to draw a line. Now, there are a couple of things I can do. I can resize that photograph by grabbing the handlebars on the corner and dragging it out. Also, if I tap that, I get a, section, a second option which is called mask. Mask is how much of that photograph I'm actually going to be showing on my picture. I want to see the whole thing. So I'm going to unmask it. I also want to make it larger. So I tap it one time to get that photograph without the mask area. Notice that I see the perimeter right here of that slide. I want to see the whole picture of the hands on there drawing. Now these are not my hands drawing and you're not going to be able to photograph your own hands. These lines pop up to let us know when we have that picture centered. I like to have my artwork centered, so I want it to be just like that. Now for my text, if I tap it one time, I can move it around. Likewise, with my two bars, I can grab those to change the text. So the first thing I want to do is give mine a title. I'm going to double tap to change that. And I'm going to en entitle mine by the tool, the pencil. I hide my keyboard when I'm done typing. Now that is one text box by itself. I like to work with my text boxes independently. So I'm going to tap outside of that. Then if I want to put in a second text box, I tap plus again and I need to put in a shape. One of the shapes with the T in it is going to allow me to insert a new text box just like that. And here's where I want to write about the safety tip I need everybody to learn about for using the pencil. Very carefully gripped in between these two fingers and the thumb so you can control where it goes. I'm going to put that text box right underneath my title. I'd like to do another one, so I'll come back to plus, add in another text box, expand that shape for my next safety tip. Notice that my safety tips do have correct capitalization. I've capitalized the first letter and also they have punctuation at the end. In this case I'm using period and I do want three safety tips from everyone so my last safety tip hide keyboard. Pencils can be dangerous objects. All of these art supplies we're talking about right now 
can be dangerous if people don't use them safely and appropriately. That's why we're teaching the younger kids about this. What I mean about walking carefully with the point of the pencil covered up is, someone told me in an earlier class, don't run with pencils. Well, since we're a PBIS school, we want to phrase our safety tips in the proper manner, using positive language. So when you're moving with a pencil, I always suggest to people that they cover it up, just like we do the blades on scissors. That way, if you fell down, you wouldn't have the point coming back at you. So cover it like that. Now I'm done with my slide. It was that easy. I've got to do one more thing. I need to put my name on it so people know who created this. So the last thing I'm going to do is one more text box and put the author's name. I use the shift arrow to get a capital letter. It's highlighted in blue when it's going to give me a capital letter. I double tap that until the whole key turns blue if I want caps lock in all of my letters in capital. I just need my first letter of my last name. And now everyone knows I authored this particular poster. So how do you turn your work in? Well, first of all, we have to name this slide. So, we have a standard naming procedure at Montlou Academy. Press and hold on the title of it. Right now, it was just called Presentation 2. And I need to call it my first name, my teacher's last name, and what the project is. So, my first name, capital M-A-T-T-H-E-W, period. My teacher's name, in this case, Wells period, the name of the project, which was Pencil Safety Poster, and I'm done. So I tap Done. Now that I have the name here, I need to upload it to WebDAV and share it. So I go back to that presentation after I've renamed it, tap the Tool icon in the upper right, Share and print. Copy to WebDAV. We're going to copy it as that keynote slide into Specials Wells Mister. Now, if your iPad is not signed into WebDAV, the code that you'll use to get in looks like this. Four six nine W E B dot G C S N C dot net is the code we use to get into WebDAV. Thank you.